is on the two driving forces behind price movement. Check out the entire Black Scholes course at momentsintrading.com or youtube.com slash momentsintrading. In my recent videos, I explained that the Black Scholes formula assumes that price follows a random walk process known as a geometric Brownian motion that has two driving forces an overall general drift rate that all markets have and the effect that constant random volatility has on that drift rate. Furthermore, the no riskless arbitrage argument shows us that this overall drift rate that all markets have must be the risk free rate. This is one of the key points of Black Scholes that there are really two fundamental driving forces of price. The underlying fixed rate price would grow if risk was removed. This is called the drift rate and it is the same rate one would get on a risk-free investment such as a government bond, plus a risk factor based on the volatility caused by the constant random buy and sell orders. Here is a formula for a geometric Brownian motion applied to a stock price. Don't be intimidated by the math. In simple language, it says that the change in the price of a stock equals a constant rate over time called the drift rate plus the volatility caused by constant random buy and sell orders. Remember that the no riskless arbitrage argument shows us that this fixed drift rate must be equal to the risk free rate. So the change in stock price equals continuous growth over a certain length of time that equals the rate of a government bond, plus the volatility of people randomly buying and selling the stock over that time. I'm going to show it again worded a couple of different ways. They all basically mean the same thing, but it's important to try and understand each one. Change in stock price equals the expected growth over time, plus the effect the volatility of people randomly buying and selling the stock over that time has on the expected growth. Change in stock price equals fixed drift rate plus a random stochastic variable. Change in stock price equals the certainty of movement plus the uncertainty caused by volatility. Distributing the S to the other side of the equation gives us future price equals today's price times a continuous growth over a certain length of time that equals the rate of a government bond plus the volatility of people randomly buying and selling the stock over time. So looking at a chart, let's say you could remove the volatility completely. In other words, if you could remove all uncertainty, price would then simply increase or drift up at a constant rate. Change the stock price equals current stock price times constant drift rate over time. The no riskless arbitrage argument shows us again that this drift rate equals the risk free rate. So if there was no risk in the market, then the future stock price would equal today's price continuously compounded at the risk free rate. Future price equals today's price times continuous growth that equals the rate of a government bond. Then the uncertainty or randomness is added in. The volatility caused by constant random buy and sell orders pushing price up and down. What is the uncertainty? We know price is supposed to move along this expected path but it doesn't. It moves around because there are people buying and selling the stock. In other words, the price of stock has volatility, which causes it to deviate from its expected path. So again, there are two driving forces behind the change in price. Price is constantly increasing at the same rate as a fixed income investment, such as a government bond. However, at the same time, it is being shocked by constant random volatility that causes price to move up and down in what is referred to as a wiggle and waggle motion. We'll find out in the pricing with risk section that by using some basic probability and statistics, one can calculate out the odds of where price will go. In other words, we'll take the expected path of price and volatility and generate a probability distribution curve. Don't worry if you're a math guy. I'm going to explain it in simple language and show you how to let Excel do the math for you. However, I'll also be explaining the math as well for those who are interested. By combining the assumptions of the efficient market theory, the random walk theory, and the no riskless arbitrage argument with the physics of Brownian motion, Black and Scholes were able to create the perfect model to price options.